Joe Sambart. Hi there, good morning. How are you? Thanks for having me here today. And uh, I just would love to learn a little bit more about your role in Marriott. You actually started your career in F&B with Marriott and then as a COO. How did you pinpoint to F&B as an area of growth? The first rule in business is talk to your customers, right? And we did a lot of customer forums uh, to understand where customers were at uh, during these difficult times. Uh, we saw a number of trends. One is domestic travel, two, wellness and well-being. We also observed a really interesting luxury and Gen Z trend, particularly in China. And what we did is we uh, wanted to focus our attention on social responsibility and we launched Good Travel by Mario Bonvoy. The other thing that we had to do was focus on new uh, revenue streams. And that includes our boutique business, we launched our first credit card in Korea, and we expanded our food delivery business, Mario Bonvoy on Wheels, in India. So what is unique about Mario's culture? or like the strategic priorities that you just mentioned that help you to kind of um, accelerate this transformation so quickly? Well, innovation is really in our DNA. Uh, embrace change is one of our core uh, values. We are a 94-year-old company with a long history that has stood the test of time. And as a global company, it is clearly important for us to be hyper-local uh, in this day and age. So localization and personalization have become our top priorities. Hi, Hi how Bart. are you? Doing good, how are you? Please take a seat. Great to see you, GC. Great to see you as well. How did you actually measure the marketing ROI for O2O? Like given that I believe that Marriott's need to be very performance driven, right? That's, that's a really good question. Um, you know, so the way in which I would kind of think about this is let's really segment the answer into two sections. The first one is the markets where Google's online to offline and even partners technology kind of works. And so measuring ROI and revenue is quite, you know, easy in that way. But the more complexity comes into the markets where you do not have that technology. And this is where we had to work with our teams on the ground, the F&B teams, literally working hand in hand with them, understanding what is the potential revenue from our media, marrying that with results from Google Ads, Google My Business walk-ins, and really understanding the data from calls and driving direction requests on maps. What technologies did you use to help Marriott achieve the business goals? So we really tapped into technologies like dynamic search ads, responsive ads, to be able to cater to customers locally at scale. Why don't we take the rest of the questions at the library? This is Austin. He works on our digital media team. So like in that transformation process, we, you actually worked with the Scrum Task Force. So Austin, tell us about like how that Scrum Task Force helped you in your partnership with the Google team and how that helped with your project. Yeah, the Scrum Task Force has helped us, I would say, in about three different ways. First and foremost is connectivity and communication. We have a lot of teams. We have the Google team, we have our married internal teams, we have publicists. The Scrum Task Force basically brought all these teams together, set up a cadence for us to align on all of our work streams in a really efficient way. Secondly, I would say our ability to activate quickly, activate our campaigns quickly, was really improved as well thanks to the task force. When you bring that all together, it just enables us to learn in real time, test in real time, and make easy, quick decisions. So what was the result in the end then? In a nutshell, it was a success. When we look at the impact of our overall campaigns in comparison to last year, today we're currently sitting at about a 23x return on investment. It's where we want to be. It's 185% above where we were last year. And then I think from an efficiency perspective as well, you know, we've seen our cost per click drop by about 18% through the partnership and as we innovate together. So overall, it's been really, really good. And you know, I think that in conclusion, right, as we think about all that we've learned today, there's no better way to wrap this all up than to go and talk to our fearless leader, Bart Baring and have them take us through some learnings. Care to join me? We'll go up to the Ritz-Carlton Suite. Great view up there. Wow. 
Wow, look at that. It's such a nice view. You know, it really is. After all, the Ritz-Carlton is one of our most iconic hotels here in Hong Kong. And what would be the key takeaways here for marketers who are looking to identify new opportunities? I think we need to think omni-channel and look at offline and online world holistically. Secondly, we need to test and learn. And lastly, I think we need to all remember that the digital marketplace is truly limitless with plenty of opportunities for all of us to capture the market.